Hi, my name's um, Mark Rule um, from Leicester. Um, I'm 39, seems to be 40. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've um, had a football career for what, 11, 12 years, professionals non and non league, um, which I had to move away from, Le from Leicester for that. Um, so I was away from Leicester about five, five and a half years, which was. Um, good growing time for me to be away from out of the, I call it the fishbowl, the Leicester fishbowl. So yeah, it was good. So that's, that's where I am. Oh, I got a son, um, 13, 13 year old son. Yeah. At the moment. Yeah. Not at the moment. I've just got a son. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of him next week. <laughs> I'm into him. Um, yeah, I got a son, 13 years old. Um, and I'm engaged as well. Uh, got engaged a couple of years, getting married next year. Um yeah, I've got a close family as well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's probably about me. So yeah, I got involved with a project. My auntie, um, Pauline, um, contacted me um, and asked me if I wanted to get involved with this uh, resilience um, study uh, project that, they, that you're putting on. Um, she gave me a little rundown, on, a little slight rundown on what it was about. I said, yeah, okay, I've got, got some time. It'd be interesting to, to be involved and, and come and see what it's about. Try new things, see what's going on, yeah. Strength, obviously, the physical strength, the, you, the straightforward um, type, but then obviously they've you got, you need strength in a lot of situations, you know, things aren't going quite right. Have you, how do you put it right? Can you, do you, do you crumble? Do you, do you, how do you hold yourself together to, um, to get yourself through scenarios, situations? Um, you could have strength through yourself, you could gain strength from other people, your family, your, your children, your, your friends and people around you, or you've just people you may come across via, you know, social media or something, you, you, you share their, um, what do you call it, you empathise with their story and you can get, get in certain things that certain people might say might just resonate with you and can give you strength. Similar, I think it's similar and it's just having, you know, the grit, you know, to, to be able to get, um, again, to get through situations and, and like staying strong and coming back again when it's, you've not been, it's not been going right for you, coming back again, I'm going to try again, or I'm not moving from here, I'm staying, I'm staying right here, you're not going to shift me, I'm, this is where I want to be, this is what I want to do, or this is where I want to get to, you know, so it's, yeah, it's probably my best description of it. Ooh, most resilient person I know. Do you know what? It's, it's crazy. When I say, when I think about it, it's probably Pauline, my auntie Pauline. She, aside from myself, but yeah, probably her. You know, she's gone through quite a bit. You know, and I and I do see her, and you know, me as a young nephew, have had to step up and be there for her at certain times and. You know, she might need a little bit of re reassurance sometimes, and I, and I find myself in that position where I'm giving it to her. It's on the phone or face to face, and she like, and I see she go, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, and sort of thing, you know. Um, but yeah, she, yeah, she's fairly resilient. I do, I do. Um, not through scenarios I'd love to like to be in, sort of thing. But I've just found myself that I've had to, had to be resilient and get and be strong. Um, to get to get myself where I need to be, sort of thing, and I've been some hot, tough positions, tough situations, um, but yeah, I feel I feel good where I am now, you know, from from where I've been and what I've had to go through. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't, th have I always been resilient? Um, early days, I don't think I really had to be, and then I had to find out <laughs> that you, you need some resilience here, Mark. <laughs> you need to sort yourself out. Um, because nobody else is gonna, nothing's gonna happen. That's just gonna make things okay. You've got to either ride out a situation or do something to get yourself out of it. One of the two. Um, so again, I don't. I wouldn't say I was, wasn't resilient. I had to grow to be, but I didn't know I had to be. And then I had to just deal with what was put in front of me. And so yeah, I think that's my answer there. For that. Um, well, two main, main, main times, and they kind of coincided with each other, was one coming towards the end of my um, 
football career, if you like, coming towards, I retired uh, a few years ago now, but coming towards the end of that, um, getting injury, injuries and then having to come back from injuries and then having to make the choice of not going back to it. Um, it was hard because now, you know, everything, everything I was doing was um, Monday to Friday, I'm sorry, Monday to Saturday was football, I'd be going there most of the time and then you come out of that and then it's, right, you've got to get a job you got to go and work. You got to. You haven't got this income anymore. You've got to do this, and that, and then. Um, so just dealing with that. I mean, it's it, to other people who aren't involved in that kind of stuff. It doesn't seem that much because I was just getting football or whatever. But if your whole life is kind of revolved around that, to then go and change is a, is quite a big thing. And having to go and find something else to go and have an interest in or to to earn money from and and whatever. So that was that, but then the other one was um, during that whole period of time, I ended up split up with my son's mum. He lives down in in Essex and I'm in Leicester, so it was around about that time where I'm having to work out, making sure I'm seeing him and travelling up and down the motorway, making sure he's he's right, I'm there for him, how to manage that, you know, and and do it on a a regular basis to make sure he knows, because obviously, you know, there is this thing, especially black men, they have kids all over the place and they just disappear, don't see them, and that, that's kind of a a kind of a thing. And I'm make, making sure that that's not where I'm, <laughs> that's not who I am, and that's not what, what my son's going to have to go through with that. So, yeah, it was, it was, um, that was tough, but again, got through it, worked it out, whatever it was. <laughs> no, no, no money, no car at some point, something to get coaches and trains and stuff to down down to pick him up to come back and make sure I kept that contact you know and being on the phone make sure I'm on the phone to him um regularly as much as I could but yeah it was a tough time it was all right when I say not being strong I think I let certain scenarios get to me a bit more and I didn't handle them how I wish I would handle them so I'd say that would would be um, and that could be again back to the whole split up sort of period. It was you know the communication between the two getting sucked in to be you know nasty and this that the other and that. And I sit back after. I mean, what the one part which I was really really ups, upset with myself, kind of you know, I had to apologise afterwards. I've actually gone to social media and I think I put something up there and you know about my business like oh when when your ex tries this, this and this, and then, you know, put something up and it weren't too good. She saw it and then, or she got informed that it was up there, she saw it and she was at me. And I was like, you know what? Nah, that ain't, that's not me, apologise. No, I shouldn't have done that, took it down and all that stuff. And that's the only time I've ever done that. And for me, I let myself down in that respect, you know, because, um, that again, that's not who I am and not, not what I'm about. But it's, um, and since then, I've had friends, male and female, that have got into them situations and they've gone down the social media route, right, talking about it. And I'm like, don't, don't do it. You don't need to do it. Stop it. You know, it's, you're not looking, you don't look good yourself. You look like a, a joke. Stop. And initially, <laughs> these people have been, well, this, 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 you know, arguing their point. Give it a day later, they're phoning me back. Oh, you know what? You're right. I have to take it down. It's, it's I'm like, you know, it's, you're better than that. You know what I mean? You don't don't get sucked into that kind of thing. I can't specifically say there are people or the specific piece of advice that have been given by other people, but I know that there's been you know different people around me, different people around me who have helped me just chill a bit more, you know. I probably, actually, probably my, my fiance, um, Lauren, she she just told me not to get in. Like, again, with the back and forth with my ex, just said, why are you getting involved? Why, just don't argue. Right? And I've, yeah, but she's saying this, and I'm saying, she's going to say, it's just, you know, just leave it. It's not, it's no point. And after a bit, I was like, you know what, let me just try that. And now I, I just purposely don't get involved in it. So I always tell people, yeah, again, anywhere who else I speak to, I'm like, look, try to reduce the levels of stress in your life. 
whichever way you can if it's it why you um you have to set you have to basically accept people for how they are either they're going to be um yeah I'm, I'm, going, I'm going off on a tangent here i'm going to go off on a tangent <laughs> the way i look at it is right if you if someone is um if someone is going to be acting in a certain way i know that person is going to be acting in a certain way now now for me if they continue keep doing the same things over and over again i've got a choice myself do I still keep in contact with this person or do I not keep in contact with this person knowing how they are? If I choose to keep in contact, I've got to manage them. Like, I know they're going to do it. So there's no point in me kicking off all the time when they do certain things. I need to manage it myself and not get too wound up with it. Have the conversation, but don't get too wound up because I already know, you know, there's no point in, you know, getting over. So yeah, all the time, my life just kind of, constantly and again this is through you know probably my mum my brother my my fiance my sister-in-law my aunties and everything else just kind of don't get involved with things it's just not worth it you're stressing yourself out and you you know you're getting really you know and it's affecting your health and stuff like that where you're this person isn't doing this i expect them to be like this and they're not doing this and some people just can't haven't got the physical uh, or mental ability to do the things that you expect them to do, like say thank you for something when they've, they're just some people just can't do it. It's normal, and it's the normal, the proper thing to do. But some people just haven't got that mental capacity to go and do it. So what do you do? Scream at them every time they don't do it, or do you kind of? I know what you're about. You know, I know if I do something for you, you're not going to say thank you. It's not okay. Let them know that it's not okay, but just don't keep it moving. Um, definitely my son, definitely him. Like <clears throat> everything I, I, everything I do, everything I'm trying to do in my life now is to make sure I got to make a better life for him. That I don't have to go. He didn't have to go through the same things I had to go through. You know, I've tried to build a, you know, um, a good base for him, and I, you know, try to give him information, knowledge, and as much as I can as much as he could take in at 13 years old, you know, 13 years old, you know, but as he goes, I try to give him more info and just create a better, a good life. So I draw a lot of my strength and from, from him, um, mainly, um, outside of that, it'd be, you know, again, family, my, my family around me, my mum and my brother. Um, and then outside of that, yeah, I've got my, my uncles and aunties, I've got my cousins. We are, a kind of a tighter, tighter, tighter group, and just flipping back to like I say when I when I finished playing football, where well, during the time when I was playing football, I I do know a lot of people. I know a lot of people up and down the country, all over the place, and I was in my head. I was I've got a lot of close friends, but when that time came when I was out of it and I wasn't on the scene, I wasn't about. I was out of work and I was doing. I had no thing. The phone went dead. No, no text messages, no phone calls, no nothing like that. And I started realising, you know, and then certain ones were doing certain things um, that I didn't expect them to do, you know, against me. And I was like, you know what? I, I had to kind of close ranks a lot more and really a sport, like really shrink my circle of what I, what I thought was my circle, shrink it right down. So inside of that, there were a few core friends who <clears throat> who not necessarily are in Leicester they've been about they're up in some in London some up in uh, <clears throat> um, in other areas but then like now when I've got new people who are introduced um, they were like why are you friends with that person down there What what's the connection sort of thing I was like when I was on my arse those people were the ones who I was communicating with, helping me out with certain things. So I, they're my friends. That's who I class that. I don't speak to them all the time. I don't see them every day. I don't speak to them every week or month or something, but I know who they are sort of thing. And that's how I have to keep it like, like that. Cause I know, again, I know who, and even, even in Leicester as well, I have to say there were certain people I've, um, I cut, what did I, I, I snapped my Achilles. So this one I still play, but I snapped my Achilles. So I was in a cast. 
again the phones weren't dead because I was I'm a guy who's who used to be more so used to be, I was to be out in the in the clubs I was about around town I was you know about all over the place and it was like hey yeah how you doing Mark I've not seen you when I wasn't there again <laughs> it was silence I'm like wait a second I'm texting people I'm not getting no responses like what's this about you know but then there was a few friends that literally I'm on crutches can't drive can't go nowhere really. They came to my house, picked me up, let's go for a drive, you know, just drive, you know. All right, cool, cheers, thanks for coming. I ain't seen you for a minute, but yeah, thanks for coming. And they'll phone up, check on me, how you doing? And it's, like, and it's these people who are, who initially you wouldn't put in that position or think they'd be in that position, but then you find out what they're about. So again, even now, we don't speak as frequently as and everything, but... But yeah, straight away, like if, I, if anything's going down or whatever, I'll see them, how you doing, everything's all right with you, you know, and we chat, I'm cool, and I keep them in my life, you know, whether it's from a distance, but you know, you get to know people a bit more. I think it's, uh, that's, a, that's a tough kind of question. If I'm being honest with it, um, strength coming from a community, all right, let's take Leicester for, for your argument's sake, yeah. I don't think there's that um, there is a strength of community like there probably used to be, and I'm 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 thirty nine, but when I I'm I'm not so I'm not really old old school, but I grew up in a in a in a I felt like I grew up in a, at the tail end of that, you know where there was a more of a community like I so I caught the tail end of it to everyone started going kind of quite mad at the moment. Now, my current job now is I work uh, for the Youth Offending Service. I work with young people all the time. Um, and I'm, front, I'm on the front line with these young people and I'm seeing them. And they, the community that they that should be around them, helping them out and keeping them out of mischief or whatever, they're finding their own community in terms of gangs and stuff like that. So their, that community is, is quite a negative one and they, they're, that's the route they're going down. Whereas the um, the bigger community, whether it's a if you talk about the black community, the or or a specific area community, it doesn't seem like you're getting that much. Um, there's too many for me. There's too many young people going off the rails and not being able to be brought back in. You know, it's 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 tough in that in that respect. So, um, and again, it also <clears throat> because you get to see a lot more like on social media people will start writing a lot of crazy stuff, you know, beefing and talking about this, that, the other. It's all over the place. And it, again, I'm sitting there and reading. I try not to get, I don't get involved on the social media stuff too much. I, I mean, I'm on it, but I don't get involved in um, back and forth with people on there. <clears throat> but you see it though. And you're kind of like, why well, don't, it's, I hate seeing it. I really hate seeing it. Um, but I think, I think it could, a community, like I say, community, I, I think there could be, it could be better. And that's not to say people aren't trying. There are, I think there's a few people that do try, but then there's other people who kind of, you know, it's gone, it's gone now. You know, what's, what can we do? And it's, that's the, that's kind of how it is right now. And it's, it's tough. Definitely, 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 definitely. I'm not going to say, look, I haven't, I haven't had a, I won't say depression, but I know I was definitely very, very down in a bad place and during that time it was hard to to function properly i was i was all out of putting weight i was like i was i was it was weird because i was i was skinny but then i was fat at the same time <laughs> i don't know how that works it was it was weird but people i'd come back home at certain times that from cause I, when i was living away from this i'd come back home this one i was really I was, I was stressed i was really stressed but people looking at me goes oh what's, What's wrong with you? I thought, I felt fine. I thought I was fine, but now when I look back at pictures from that time, my face is so gaunt and everything. I'm like, wow, is that really what what he was like? So once I, in terms of your personal health, yeah, they they are definitely linked in because once you start feeling better, um, physically or you know then kind of, you you feel better, you can start. Yeah, I don't know. Is it the um, chemicals in your body, kind of in your brain, they start uh, making you feel a bit more positive and stuff? And so, I'm a I'm a personal trainer now as well, 
So a lot of the time I'm talking to clients or, or people I'm working with just about, you know, if you get out, be active, you'll see how you feel afterwards. Guarantee when you get home, you'll have that buzz that you'll be like, yeah, I'm wired. Uh, get up early in the morning. I'm like, I did a boot camp first thing in the morning. It's about 7.30. We met on a Saturday morning. I can't get up. I was doing that time. Just come, just come. I come, oh, it's the best session of the week. Oh, I feel I'm wired today. And I'm like, so now that it's, if you take that and you've got that kind of energy on a day to day or every other day sort of thing, yeah, you can get through the day. Problems, you've got more ideas. You're more, yeah, you're more open. Your brain's more open. You're more functioning. So yeah, definitely there's a link. Mm -hmm. The main problem when you talk about well-being and, and, and things and strength and resilience, I'd say, yeah, as well, LinkedIn, is people are go, who are going through tough times really try to close ranks themselves and think, I'm going to deal with it. How am I going to deal with it? And they literally shut down, push people away or not even let other people know about it. But obviously you've seen a lot of stuff regarding their mental, mental health I think the best thing to do is to talk to people around you. Um, not everybody around you is going to be great and be equipped to come and help you in them ways, but there's no there's no shame in asking for that help or to letting people know that you need a bit of help or you're struggling on on this front, you know. So that's what I'd say. Just be be more open with with things. It's not if you're going through a hard time, you're going through a hard time. And if you've got people around you who are, who are not mature enough to um, to respond to that, help you out, you might have to change your circle, if <laughs> being honest. Change your circle and get around some different, more positive people who can help you out. And that's that usually helps out a bit more.